Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Do you find selecting hair tedious and inaccurate? Do you wish this process was much easier? In case you didn't know, Affinity Photo has a little known tool to help you make strand perfect hair selections. That tool is called channels. And that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. But what are channels? Channels are grayscale images that store color information. In RGB color mode, you would have four grayscale images, red, green, blue, and alpha. Channels allow us to perform more complicated selections that would be much harder to do without it. So here is the image we will be working with. If you ever tried to use the selection brush to select the hair as normal, you will find the tool will struggle specifically with fine strands as those have very little contrast with the background. So we're going to make use of channels to make this process a lot easier. So how do you access channels? To access channels, just click on the channel tab. Notice we have four grayscale images. For our purposes, we will be only focusing on the first three the red, green, and blue channel, and ignoring the alpha channel. Let's first examine the red channel. Notice that it is a grayscale image, which contains the red color information. You can verify this as areas of the image which have a reddish hue, such as our skin, appear very bright in the image. Now let's examine the green channel, which like the red channel, is also a grayscale image but contains the green color information. Notice her skin appears darker in the green channel, which signifies while her skin contains green, it has it in much less quantities than red. Finally, let's look at the blue channel. In the blue channel, both the skin and the hair appear much darker, and that signifies much less of the blue color than the red and the green. Now that we have satisfied ourselves on what channels are, how do you use it for making selections? In the case of making selections, what you want is to find a channel with the greatest contrast between subject and background. So in our examples, which channel would you use? You might say the blue channel, or you might argue that the contrast really isn't that different to the composite image. If that is the case, there is an operation you can do to possibly improve the contrast, and that is to invert a channel. So let's do that now. Right click background red and click invert. Notice that the inverted red channel provides much more contrast between the subject and background. That looks good, but let's see if inverting the green offers a better alternative. Finally, let's try inverting the blue channel among the three, it seems like the inverted blue channel gives the best contrast. It's better than every other option, inverted or uninverted. So let's use this to make our selection. Right click background blue once again and select create grayscale layer. Next, let's go back to the layers panel. Notice that the grayscale image has been created and placed on top of the layer stack. Now let's add even more contrast to this image using the brightness and contrast adjustment. Once you're done, click Merge to apply the adjustment. Now this is looking good. Every strand stands out a lot more in the image. Perfect to make a selection. So let's begin making our selection. I'll use the Select Sampled Color tool. I'll adjust the tolerance to ensure as many strands as possible are included in the selection. Now that the hard part, the strands, are selected, let's complete the selection using the selection brush. Now let's get out of channel's grayscale mode 
by clicking the top right button. Let's make some final refinements on the selection. Finally, let's create a mask. Click the Mask Layer button and select Mask. There are still some minor errors, so let's paint over the mask to correct it with a white paintbrush. To view the mask, option click on the mask thumbnail. Let's change the background so we can see what perfect cutout we really have. And there you have it, a strand perfect selection using channels. Who says you need AI like select subject to get a perfect hair selection? Channels works just fine. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know of any other techniques you have for selecting hair perfectly. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.